of a sit of uniformity But there shifts in time form a certain parity With the gesture of buttons comes clarity Randomly uniformly in search of paradise clarity I'm Trying to find a good angle in this car It's not so hot, but it's not cold It's just, you know, it feels just perfect in the car Which is why I'm not outside I'm currently working on a project called Regurgitation of Information. Pieces, fragmentations, but all belonging to a concept, an association, something identifiable through symbols, spiritual, hesitation, fraction, motivation. It may just seem as if I'm saying a bunch of words, but I'm climbing a ladder with various destinations made available by improvisation, but not necessarily improvisation because there's also a structure. I am very grateful to be able to write things down and I think if I write more down, I'll have more to say because things just pass through. And if you don't write it down, it ain't gonna stick around. Nowhere downtown or uptown, anyway. Thoughts, listening, all of that makes sense. And I hope you all are able to do that as much as you can, record, put things down. I've been putting things down for a long time. I have a cassette tape I did in 2013 called Metaphorical Gender. I intentionally, when I made these mixtapes, made it to where there were no dates because I wanted to be outside of time and space. But I know this was definitely during 2013 because the music that I have on this record is a reflection of poetry and also a playlist that responds to the theme. Anyways. This whole life we live is crazy. I need a better word for crazy. I say that word a lot. But I feel like it's overused. It's definitely a word I overuse. But when I say crazy, a more relevant word is absurd. <laughs> and that is a word I use a lot as well. And I should probably replace it for crazy. Because when I think of crazy, I think of just like jumbled, knotted up, outside of the reality, almost shockingly so. It's like, man. And a lot of people use that word like that. Like, man, that's crazy. That's crazy, yo. That's crazy. But crazy is a symptom of a larger problem and it's always good to have a smoking gun right like when you can find the source of that crazy because it becomes almost like if something is too wild or absurd and it's not finding its clarity you're not understanding why it's too wild or absurd then you become wild and absurd you know <laughs> like it almost is is as if you have to figure out what it is so that you do something. Because if you're dealing with it and you're not trying to solve what you're dealing with, why are you dealing with it? Especially if it's taking away from time and energy that can be spent on something else. This is why people talk about solutions. But I am not undermining the process of figuring it out. And figuring it out is not always an easy thing to do. But yeah, when you're dealing with something, you have to sit with it. You gotta think about it. You have to analyze it. You have to position yourself. You really have to imagine. Imagination is at the, the core of it because when one talks about empathy, when you're putting yourself in someone else's situation, you're having to imagine what that would be like. How would you respond? 
would you respond? Are you responding? A lot of people give sympathy, meaning they see what someone else is going through and they sympathize. They're like, man, I see it. Wow, you're dealing with that right now. You're dealing with that right now. You're not really experiencing the takeaway where you're having to actually deal with it too. That is empathy. Empathy and sympathy. Both are necessary at times. But um yeah. Life, y'all. It's a combination of things. I guess that's all I wanted to say. I'm thinking how Frankie Beverly and May said, and they've said a lot, but this time in particular, and this is not the first time this has been said. This has been said many times, but the melody that they used, the instruments, the composition of this piece, you know what they said, if you haven't said it yet. Joy and pain is like sunshine and rain. Joy and pain, sunshine and rain. Joy and pain, sunshine and rain. They go hand in hand. If you don't understand, just keep living a little longer. I think as soon as we're born, we're introduced to both joy and pain. I mean, <laughs> you ain't gonna have just joy. There's going to be some pain. Most of us in the world, the masses of the people all around the world, mostly are suffering. That's just a fact. We can do something about that suffering. We should, if it's not obvious already, should be going to the root. We need to be radical in our analysis, getting to the root of things. Why is this happening? Oh, because people are poor? Because people are being exploited? People don't know how to build. People are not organized. Oh my God, I see something in front of me. What is that? I can't tell. It looks like a, it's an animal. It looked like a, it looked big and fuzzy. It looked kind of scary actually. Maybe it was a cat. But if it was a rat, hell no. See how those letters make a difference? Oh, it is a cat. Kitty. You see me, baby? That's not what I saw. It was, I saw another thing. I think this cat is looking for what I saw. Try to take it. Anyways, I love cats. So cats are adorable. Cats are the greatest living species in this earthly universe. Cats are best ever but rats <laughs> how far is see from our anyway bats cats rats bats what am i missing here tats <laughs> anyways this is insane this whole world we live in this is why folks call it crazy Randomly, uniformly, in search of paradise clarity. Have y'all ever met somebody, anyone? And in that moment, you realize that witnessing, you're experiencing something that is beyond because it's beauty personified in such a way. It's like, damn, you are gorgeous. Beautiful. A lot of people use that word very haphazardly. But the truth is beauty or someone who just stops you in their tracks. It's like, damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that happens to me often. Because I see beauty everywhere. Beauty is everywhere. And sometimes you just want to acknowledge it. Like, damn. But you have to think about the frame. See, this is why frames has really captured me lately. Frames and vases. It's a whole other thing I'll get into later. But you got to watch that frame. Frame is the most important name. 
in this game of identifying with someone who is attractive because you don't know that person. You don't know that person. You don't know what they got, what they into, what they're really thinking. If you even communicate that, their situation, the context of their lives. So that's the frame. That's the most important. So that's what you got to always think about. Sometimes it's like, oh, I'll just make this compliment and then I'll pass on. Essentially, what I'm saying is beauty need not be called out by everybody because then the frame starts to become sort of like overreaching, like you're expecting something after sharing something like a compliment. Like someone could say thank you. Some people don't have to respond at all. Some people don't know what to say after that because they don't know where you're taking it. It's like, okay, you're telling me this because what? Because people may say that and hope that that is currency to get something. And it's like, no, giving a compliment, offering someone a compliment, being kind has to be read with suspicion. And I understand that. But I'm still saying to everyone who's watching this video, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You ever been anywhere just passing through, doing your thing, you turn over, you know, you got eyes. It could just also be someone's smell, aura, whatever. It's like, ooh. What someone has on, you know, clothes bring expression and people connect to fashion and jewelry and all these other things. Outward expressions of identity, clothes, color, scarves, belts, whatever it is. You just, you know, you walking out and you see somebody with that shit on. Like people said, they got that shit on. Or they just exude all of these other sensations that are complimentary. Yeah, I saw someone today and I was like, wow. Did not say anything, because the frame would have been weird. The frame was weird, I was like, mm. I was like, mm. thank you. <laughs> I'll remember you. Anyways, blessings.